What's up guys, it's Misha with Winnie Designs and today we're going to be working on our shower floor. The issue we're having here is that we had to open this whole thing up for the plumber to do his business. Uh, but now, our wall is kind of hanging hanging out. So we can't just put you know a new piece of subfloor here because then it will you know not have any support. And then also if you just add a piece of 2x4 on the back here, you're still kind of creating one of these joints that could cause your tile to crack, especially with a he heavy set tile, things like that. So what we're going to do is uh, fix this and do it the way I do it. I don't know, there's not a lot of information on this online, so I'm just kind of making this up as I go. If you want to learn how to build showers and build bathrooms in general, please hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, because we're going to be putting out a lot more videos uh, with that. Let's get started. All right, guys, so basically the way we're going to fix this is we need to get some type of structural support from this floor joist to the other floor joist. So I'm just gonna use a couple of two by six blocks. We don't have to have them every 16 inches or whatever. You just need to throw a couple in there. So I'm gonna throw one here, here, just you know, in the middle of it, and then one towards the back. And then we're also going to patch in the rest here just to give it uh, more support. So let's go out there and we're gonna get a couple of uh, pocket screws because it's really hard to uh, go and find that other floor joist. So let's go and do that. All right guys, so we got our Craig pocket hole jig here set up. And I'm just gonna make two holes on this side and then two holes on the other side. So pocket holes is really is the key here because uh, you want to make sure that you have screws in that block in uh, the front floor joist and the back floor joist to really support that wall and to support that shower to make sure that that load is distributed and then add more blocking for the subfloor. All right, guys. so this is how you basically we got this all patched up. This is strong here. So we got one, two, three, and then we also threw in some blocks this way. Now we're going to get our... Um, you know, deck glue, subfloor glue, put a whole bunch of it down here, screw it down. My drain is right here. I'm not going to drill this out yet. <clears throat> I want to first see, um, you know, find the center and then drill it. That's how I'm going to do. And then I also got to see if I need to do any self leveling or anything like that. But a whole bunch of glue, put it down, don't spare it. And then we have a three quarter inch plywood that we're going to match, put on top of here. Let's go. The glue is one of the most important things here because you want to make sure that that thing is tight on there. Uh, just like my cut. My cut was super tight, so I had to sh take a little bit off. Uh, but once we got that, we're going to do our screws and then put the screws down. Next, before I put my cement board down, I'm going to put some thin set down to make sure that there's adhesive on the back side of that as well. And then you screw it in because I want to make sure that I have some type of um, cement board there for my self leveler. And then, of course, you got to prime it before you pour the self leveler down. I mixed up some uh, self-leveler. I'm gonna pour some self-leveler, have this perfectly level. This way, all I have to do tomorrow is just put some thin set and stick my pan too. A lot of people will start playing with thin set, things like that. In my experience, I've always ended up with like an air pocket beneath there or like an empty space and then like it just seems sketchy. So I don't do that. So let's pour some self-leveler here. It's super satisfying. As I'm pouring it, basically you know the entire bucket you're going to take a little trowel or a compound trowel whatever and just kind of go across the entire shower to make sure that the whole thing gets covered basically with the self-leveler you want to push it to the sides and then it kind of levels out in the middle easy <laughs> 